will be there with you through thick and thin. But people change, feelings change, and of course some people don't want to stick it through in the relationship. And that is how we get this whole idea of heartbreak. That brings me to this TikTok creator by the name of Fullestness, right? He's a black dude that is in love with a, I don't know, some people. So we are checking out uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson on uh, YouTube. Check out his channel. I'm just going to get back into it and come back with my reaction. Talking about uh, uh, thick white women. Hit the thumbs up button. People will call her a BBW. Some other guys will call her super thick. I'll just call her a young white woman. Mm. And they've been going viral because they're homeless. And it's not about the fact that they're homeless. They're making very interesting content about them being homeless. Like this particular clip. I live in the storage unit because it's cheap in comparison to an apartment. Living here is actually really comfortable. I get a lot of things that I need and want to get done here. I can exercise. I can use the bathroom. I can play music anywhere in the unit. It's climate controlled in here, so it's nice and warm. Yeah, this unit is 24 hours, so I can come here anytime I want, stay here as long as I need to. We no. can take naps if we need to and go to sleep. I think, no, they, they, they have to have cameras in there in them storage units. They know they, that's, yeah, this got to be fake. They got cameras in there. And then the guy actually makes fun of people who actually work. We not getting a job. It sound like y'all jealous because we found a way to make it work without a job and you still got to work a nine to five pushing 40 hours plus a week. That's on you. Don't get mad at us because we found a way to circumvent this shit and get out the system and get out the matrix. We living in a tent, paying no rent, saving up money every single month and more money than the average American could ever think to save. Y'all jealous because me and my girlfriend found a way to circumvent paying rent. So don't get upset with us and tell us that we need to get a job and we lazy when in reality, see. this lifestyle is far. Was that the, I want to see how the girl, that was the girlfriend, the, the, the chunky lady. Was that, because <laughs> that's got to be who is. Far from lazy. This lifestyle is very difficult. Most people couldn't even handle this adversity. I know I couldn't. Do so it. I don't want to hear y'all calling us names and calling us lazy. Y'all jealous because y'all got amenities and we dealing with without all that saving up money, making it work without amenities, without AC, without heat, making it work. Y'all jealous. We don't need a job. We don't need AC. We making it work in a tent. So as you can yeah, see here in the background, they cook together, they hang out together and everything like that. Typically trespassing on people's properties if they can, <laughs> and living out there, sometimes in the woods. But you know, the Caucasian lady got tired of that. She left him, went back to his mom. The brother became very irate and dropped this video. What the f It says, okay, oh my God, homeless man who went viral for living in a storage unit goes off at his girlfriend left him to go back with, her, with her family. I chose this shit. I knew what I was getting into. I don't want to follow anyone else's rules. Uh, Figure that shit out, dog. You got legs. You got arms. You got a brain. You got money. Figure that shit out. Even the big girl was like, I can't, what the, she was like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> she probably like, where, where, am I, where am I? She's like, I, I know I'm a big girl, but I, I know I can do better than this. I'm literally sleeping with, I'm literally trying to make a relationship work with a homeless man. Homegirl was out. Figure that out, yo. And stop fucking dog. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not, right I'm not complaining about shit. I chose this shit. I knew what the fuck I was getting into. My dad said you had to get on the fuck the streets okay brianna's parents said you can't come here they said that you can't live here so i'm gonna have to stay outside unless i go follow what they want me to fucking do i don't want to follow nobody's rules what the fuck? fuck i follow my own rules i follow my own rules i do what i want to do out of my life 
I don't cross nobody's boundaries. I don't hurt nobody. I just want to do what I want to do. And I don't go hurt nobody. If anything, I hurt myself. And I'm done doing that too. Damn, bro. Like, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> you, you expect this lady to be out there as a woman, consistently out there with the water, out there in the mud. Ew, it would be that. different Ew. if she grew up like that. But man, most people in America don't have that sort of harsh lifestyle. Right. And you are making money. You 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 do have a TikTok channel. You do have a YouTube channel with over a hundred thousand subscribers. So you are right. getting money. You just want to continue to be homeless because, well, that's how you're earning money. So now she left <laughs> you, and now you're blaming everybody else. Now listen, I will give her some props for sticking it with you for that long. But man, that's dusty, bro. You out there trying to be homeless because you don't want to work and you don't want to do whatever it takes to, to level yourself up. Right. You're basically monetizing your content about being a homeless guy. You're really not even a homeless guy because you actually have money. You're living a homeless lifestyle to make money. That is just so dusty. Next story. <laughs> well, fortunately, we live in a time and day of criminality. Now stop the show. That, that's always been the case. It's not like anything is new. But hey, technology has made it much more difficult for criminals uh -oh. to be successful. Everywhere there's cameras. And you would think like, man, even if I did want to do this crime, they got cameras to see what's going on. Not this guy. He decided he wanted to do the unthinkable with the student. We continue to follow the arrest of 24-year-old Lewis Laurie, the Baltimore City School teacher charged with a 12-year-old girl last oh. week in Pikesville. Laurie was denied bond today. He's denying oh, the no. allegations. At the time of his arrest, Laurie was listed. Why did he do that? That's disgusting. Oh, he was young, 24 years old. Why? Why he? Met oh no, Ellen. Uh, Ellen Gary, Ellen allegedly raped. Oh, I don't want to say the R word. That's bad. The thumbs up button. As a staff member at Mervo High School, Fox 45 News asked city schools if Lori is still employed there. A spokesperson did not answer our question. Mm. Tonight, Fox 45's Keith Daniels was out at Lori's apartment complex in Pikesville, the same complex where that alleged victim lives, asking families about these allegations. Keith? Well, Mayor, it's the same apartment complex where the girls, parents, and others gathered with flyers heartbroken over their daughter, their missing daughter at the time, and tonight perhaps another painful chapter for that family and community. <laughs> it's an apartment complex in Pikesville, tucked away among green grass and tall trees. Oh, I thought he might have deleted her, but I guess he didn't do that. That's okay. Well, I mean, it's still bad what he did to her, but I, I thought he, I, I thought he, they said they couldn't find her. I thought he might have, you know. The suspect's building inside it, his apartment, mm. where police say U.S. Marshals found the alleged rape victim, a 12-year-old girl. The accused 24-year-old Lewis Lowry, a Baltimore City school teacher. The allegations disturbing the peace of the complex. A sexual predator messing with kids. Something is wrong with these people nowadays. With neighbors wow. shaken by allegations a mm. case linked to the initial report of a missing girl when i found out that it was around here it was disturbing because he was hearing different things like a man could have took her to pennsylvania and then to but find out it's a teacher like it's sad because this is like as a parent you're supposed to have trust in you know teachers and so forth and you wouldn't think that Stuff like that would be so close, I guess, you know, hit home so close. Larry is charged with wow. first degree rape and a third degree offense. He was arrested Monday in court Tuesday for a bond hearing where the state revealed he met the girl on the playground of the apartment complex where they both live. You oh, have Lord. someone who's around children every single day in a school system. So who's to say she was the first person that he may have violated? That's sick, man. Now, hold on, bro. You're trying to say that you didn't know how old she was when you met her at the playground. The girl <laughs> goes missing. Right? He 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 no, he's like, you thought she was an adult woman out there playing on the playground? <laughs> he, th he thought that was an adult woman playing on the playground? 
and ends up at your house. You're right. 24 and she is 12. severely underage. That is so dusty! But stop the show. Do you know what's going to happen to your cheeks in prison? Uh-huh. Booty clap is out! Right. They don't like that shit out there, boy. Next story! The year was 1994. The Houston Rockets were right. playing... Gonna, that's, y'all can go ahead and check the rest out on Ocean Duke Jackson's channel. Uh, Ocean Duke Jackson, he's a YouTuber. Check him out. It's a sick world we live in, man. Like, the teachers are just... The teachers are either getting beat up or they getting... Or they, or they doing something to the students. You know, like, and this, it, it's funny, you usually hear about this with women doing it, mostly, you know, you r- rarely hear about it by me, even though it does happen, but it's happening more frequently, seem like, people are out here messing with the students and shit like that, you know, and the students are jumping on the teachers, the, you know, the youngsters don't have no respect for the teachers no more, to the point where they're fighting the teachers, like, that was like, even talk, like, when I was coming back, talking back to the teacher was like a no-no, when we was in elementary school and middle school, but now it's like, People are just, people are swinging little teachers now, you know? Dang, that's, yeah, that's some sad stuff, man. Sad stuff. But that's interesting about the homeless dude. The homeless dude was getting paid to make content about being homeless. So he, he, he can't get an apartment because then now you ain't got no content. Because, <laughs> like, your apartment, well, your, your content was all about being homeless. And now that you got someone, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, I, I couldn't do it. I know I, I, I like the comforts of, a roof and a f- four walls and a and a comfy bed. I'm so you know my family ain't never. My mom, all my mom and my dad always kept a roof, a roof over my head. And if they didn't have one, I got plenty of aunties and cousins that had roofs over their head, own homes. I just I was blessed. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. But I guess that's a good way to do. You making money from your content being homeless and you're actually saving so now him doing it just by himself that's a brilliant idea but him bringing a woman along like i would have been like i would have been like baby go go back to you he should feel bad having her out there as a woman you put her out there in the elements and something may happen you ain't around all the time you should be wanting to send her back hey baby why don't you go be with your family and i just catch up with you we can see each other i can come get an uber and take you out you know i got money coming in and then we can get a hotel room when we kicking it. And then when you when we not kicking it, you go back home to your family. Like why are you gonna put her out there in that in that shit? I don't know. Anyway, what do y'all think about this video, man? Support the channel, subscribe to Charles on this world, and give me the thumbs up button.